Okay, here's the Dimensional Labyrinth trick for Heroic, uh, since we're reaching that point right now. So this is a way to make Heroic Labyrinth a lot more manageable to do, because... Oh, what do you know? <laughs> and we got Thunder God Spear. Well, this doesn't really require Thunder God Spear, but we'll use it anyway. So, uh, Heroic, right? Heroic level 3 doesn't really require... Well, no, really. Heroic level 3 is pretty hard. Now, if you go in there, willy-nilly, you'll fight enemies that have, like, t over 200,000 CP, and they're all, like, red ranks, right? So what you can do, right, is... What you can do is you can just uh, exit out of this. This costs gems, though, by the way, because what you need to do is you need to reset three characters. Three out of five characters. Hi, so this is future me talking. So I found out that you don't have to reset three characters exactly. You can reset one, two, or even four, and the enemy's CP will adjust accordingly. But I think three is just a pretty good solid midpoint. Okay, back to the video. Right here, so you go here. Obviously, if you have the monthly pass, it's free. But if you don't have the monthly pass, it's gonna cost you like, I think... I don't know how many gems it costs to reset, probably like... I think 30 or something? Okay, so it does cost 30 to reset one character, but you do get 180 for completing the stages, so even if you do reset three characters, you're still in a plus. I think you have to reset three of your highest level characters, so I need to reset Rebecca as well. As well as resetting the three characters, what you can do, right, is... There are shrines, right, that let you borrow characters. There are shrines that give you characters, right? Those don't affect the CP. So what you can do, right, is reset the three characters, right? And fill out your level one slots with those characters that you get in the shrine instead. Now, I might still die, but this is just a way to, you know. Now, here, stage three heroic, right? Go here. Now, let's try and fight a blue elite mob. Yeah, boom. Down. 123,000. So they went from, like... Over 200,000 CP down to 123 with only epic. Now what you can do, right, is because you're stuck with three level ones, if you chose the character, if you use the shrine that gives you characters, you can actually fill in the slots of those characters and the CP won't increase at all. So it won't go back to 200,000, it'll still, it'll still stay the same. That's why I say to just grab the uh, characters if you can. You probably miss out on like some like chests and some coins. I don't think it's worth it. So now it's a lot more manageable. Mimic, let's go over. Here. I copy and paste. I cropped out a screenshot. I took a screenshot with, of the team that he uses for <laughs> Jushun Yun for like PvP. <laughs> now it's full of characters that Global doesn't have yet, but you know. It's a good little, just a good little guide to have. And, uh, man, I would say Awaken Chifuyu. Uh, I saw him, I saw him try to use her, and she is really bad, man. It's really unfortunate. She looks really bad, and she needs, like, a... Looks like she needs a lot of buffs. Chifuyu, Horizon, and... Jushu and I like my top three favorite characters in Counter Strike. Actually, Hilde is pretty cool, but I like Hilde as well. Wow, that feel when uh, that feel when the boss, the last boss, is a lot easier than like the mid mid round fights. Yeah, Waken Chief has got such insane visuals. Uh, Rearm Shinatsu, though, appears to be way more worth. Like, actually really good. But Awaken Chief seems like she has a lot of problems. Like, way too many problems. And she just gets owned. <laughs> Even if you have, like, the best gear on her. And do you have it, Chad? That's how you do Awaken... Oh, Awaken. That's how you do Heroic Labyrinth. It's that easy. Bada bing, bada boom. 